name is Donchez. I'm from Wolverhampton. I am 60 years old, what? and I'm here to do my thing. Now you're going to sing, right? Yes, Simon. This is an original song called Wiggle Wine. Because wiggle. <laughs> wiggle wine. Wine. Yes, woo! Wiggle wine. Good luck. Let's do it, Don Chez. Come on, Don Chez. All right. I'm Griffith Wynn Roberts. Uh, I'm Welsh. Yeah. Uh, yeah! Uh, I'm 22 and I live in a small island called Anglesey in North Wales okay. with, with, with my nan. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> What's your granny's name? My nan's called Alwena. That's a great name. Alwena. <laughs> and why don't you live with your mum and dad? Um, well, I don't. Uh, I. I. Um, sorry. Um, I live with my nan because um, uh, I haven't known my father till I was 16. Um, and uh, yeah, this is quite hard, sorry. Um, yeah. Go on, Griff. Go on, Griff! Go on, Griff! Are you going to sing? Yeah, I'm going to sing for you today, yeah. And what's the dream? Just selling out theatres like this, hopefully. All right, well, good luck. Thank you very much. Buongiorno, sai, per noi verrà 
la libertà di amarci qui senza limiti e fiorirà il sogno a noi le cose stop it. Stop it. Okay, Griffin, I want to say something to you. Okay. Because you're very nervous. Yeah. This was very cold and mechanical for me. I sense there's more in there. I want to hear that warmth, that richness. I want you to just let go for a second. Okay. What else you got? Um, I've got Ness and Dorma. Let's do that. Have a glass of water. Yeah. Yeah. That's real up. Thank you. <laughs> Alright? Good lad. Alright. Take a big breath. Alright? Good lad. Griffith, how good do you think you are? Out of ten. Out of ten? I'd say I'm about a six at the moment. That's what we just got. I want an eight. And above.
Hi. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Mark and I'm from North London. Brilliant. And Mark, how old are you? I'm 46. Who have you brought with you today? My wife. She is somewhere in the audience. Brilliant. There she is. My daughter is here, but she's only two years old, so she's um, watching Peppa Pig somewhere or something, yeah. probably. Are you a magician? I am indeed, yeah. And is that how you make a living? I've done a lot of jobs, not necessarily living. There's, okay. there's the good and the bad. Well, the best of luck. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Can I join you? Yep. Okay. I've always wondered, what would it be like to experience real magic? Well, two years ago, I did. And it changed me and my life forever. Amanda. Yes. I'm going to ask you to give this Rubik's Cube a mix for me. Can you keep on mixing until I come back to you? Yes. Thank you. David, mm. inside this box are 25 different coloured crayons. I'm going to give these a mix. And David, you're going to choose one, but without looking. Just grab one at random. Hold it in your hand, David, but don't look at it. Keep it hidden. Alicia, yes. these cards belong to my daughter. It's important to see that all the cards are different. Yep. I'm going to ask you to just touch the back of anyone. It doesn't matter which, but what is very, very important is that I don't do any sleight of hand. Okay. So I'll spread the cards like this, point to anyone that you like. Wow, right down the end. Can you hide out your hand for me? I'm going to place that card on the palm of your hand, genuinely the card that you touch. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Lovely. Amanda. Yes. You have mixed that cube yes. into a completely unique pattern. Yes. Fair to say? Uh-huh. We'll get back to that in a moment. Simon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to hold this pen in your right hand right here. Perfect. You lower your wrist down, get comfortable. Yeah. Lovely. This book belongs to my wife. There are over 600 pages, around about 200,000 words in the book. Alicia, can I ask you to close your eyes for a moment? And just say the word stop. Stop. Simon, I'm going to hold the book above your pen. Mm -hmm. Amanda, can you say the word stop as I do this? Stop. Simon, can you bring the pen up to the page without looking and draw a small circle the size of a five pence piece? You don't have to be precise. I'm going to place the book down in front of you here, Simon. I'll take the pen. Can you do me a favour? Lift up the book. Don't show me. But have a look at where you've drawn that circle. Can you confirm that there is a word or words that you can see within that circle? Yeah. Yeah? There is? <laughs> Wonderful. It's a good start. David, can you tell us what colour crayon do you have? Red. The red crayon. Alicia, for the first time, what card did you choose? Ah, oh, Puppet Penguin. The Puppet Penguin. Amanda, very carefully, yeah. can you just lift off the box so we can see the pattern that you've created on the very top of that Rubik's Cube. Now, if I told you that I knew this exact outcome yesterday, a week ago, or a month ago, you'd say, well, that would have to be magic. Some would. people would. I would. But it's not real magic. It's interesting, intriguing, maybe clever. Some might even say amazing, but it's not real magic. See, for me, real magic changed two years ago. This, to me, is real magic.
And Simon, that leaves just you. For the very first time, Simon, what is the word that you circled? Hat. Hat. H-A-T. Yeah. Simon, this is for you. Isabella, you beautiful little girl. If Daddy was going to do Britain's Got Talent in two years from now, what random word do you think Simon would think of? Hat. Hat. H A T. You could be right. Oh my God, that's amazing! Wow! Absolutely gobsmacks. Thank I mean, you. first of all, thank God your little girl's okay. Uh, that's the most important. She's okay now, yeah? yeah absolutely. Good. Well, I'm thrilled to hear that. Um, don't know what you've gone through, Mark, through your career trying to get the break you've been looking for. I have a feeling this act is going to change your life. It was unbelievable. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I really do. I've been doing this show now, what, seven years? And I genuinely never, ever thought a magic act would move me like that. I know. That's just crazy. I don't care how you did it. It was magnificent. He did it because it's magic. You have just taken magic to a whole new level, oh, my thank friend. You. Thank you. It's great, isn't it? Brilliant. It was a really beautifully put together performance. Thank you, David. I loved your presentation. So calm, so in control all the time. I like that you didn't bother with lots of silly jokes on the side. Obviously, it's incredibly moving seeing the story with your family as well. And it's a lovely way of including them in the act. Thank you. It's, it's astonishing. Gets you in tears. Yeah. It's a moral really story. Yeah. Utterly extraordinary. You know, we're all parents. And that is the greatest magic in the oh, world. Um, she's my magic. Absolutely. Absolutely. Come on, and we're going to take on. a vote. Go on, go on. 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 You got it. You don't have to vote. That was an important. Really? Let me ask you, cheers. That was remarkable. Remarkable. Thank you. Well done. Well done, man. Brilliant. It's so deserving. So deserving. Oh, my God. See you in the last show. Well done. That was so brilliant. So brilliant. Thank you. Well, got me right there. Well done. Hello. How are you? Good, you? Very well, thank you. What's your name? I'm Jack. Nice um, to meet you, Jack. I'm Dad, I'm Tim. Hi, Dad, Tim. Hi. Oh, aren't you adorable? Where are you guys from? We're from Norfolk, Norwich. How old are you, Jack? I'm 12. 12? And how long have you been singing with Dad? Um, since I was about five. Really? And Tim, is this what you do for a living? I play, my, I'm a full-time dad, really, to uh, Jack, Lily and uh, Gabrielle and Kimberly. Are you feeling nervous? A little bit, but I'm really excited. Do you think you could win this? It's my favourite thing to watch on TV, so it would be absolutely incredible to win. Good answer. 
Do you well, have a favourite judge? <laughs> I like Simon especially oh. because... <laughs> I like Simon especially because um, I like watching his best insults. Okay. <laughs> They're good, aren't they? They are They're really, really good. good. They're funny. OK. Probably not best to ask that question again. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yes. What's the song? Uh, this is a song called The Lucky Ones. Jack and I write together and um, this is one of ours. OK, can you tell me what it's about? It's, um, we, we kind of, uh, we've all had um, family losses and things like that and, uh, and as a father and son, it's, um, it's a kind of father-son song, family song. It's about, it's about us, it's about, it's about being so... It's about how lucky we are to have what we have. Oh, well, you seem adorable and we wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you. Jack, this says it all.
Thank you so much. Such a great song. Thank you so much. You are special. Come here. That was fantastic. I love that song. That's just magic. What is happening, dude? What a great song. Thank you so much. It reminded me of me and my boy. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm really well, thank you. What's your name? My name is Lifford. Uh, Lifford? I'm from uh, South London. Why are you on Britain's Got Talent? Why oh, hasn't man. this? Oh, it's, man. It's to, to perform in front of you beautiful people. And my wife, she loves uh, the royal family, so I want to buy her a hat. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come to the royal variety performance. <laughs> but mostly just to have a good time and, and sing a song, man, and, and just be here. You know, it's a big deal, me being here. We're with you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Very brave. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Oh, you're a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much. 